What's the crack lads? What is going on? Hope you guys are good and welcome back to another video in this series, Players for All Budgets. And now we are taking a look at the best left midfielders for all budgets. So we're going to kick off with Kalu. This guy is 14,000 GP. Pretty decent option. I mean, you have to kind of, you have to, you know, cut your clock lads. If you don't have a lot of GP, you're looking to get the most bang for your buck. And this guy is a super sub. He's a prolific winger. He's got good abilities, good player skills. And he's super, super cheap. So I definitely think he's worth a shot if you're looking for a squad or a rotation player. Next up, we have a Bamba. So this guy is 32,000 GP. Not a bad option either. Very, very good speed, acceleration. And of course, that dribbling and those dribbling stats are quite nice. He does have good player cards as well. We'll show you a little build of him here in a second. But as I said, when you are training up these cards, you do have to pick them as a specialist position. You know, you have to make them specialist players. So for this guy, we've just done, you know, kind of like his dribbling and his shoot or his passing um, or his, yeah, his dribbling and his shooting and his passing or his passing and his speed. So I'm getting tongue tied. Uh, so yeah, we've kind of made this guy as like an all rounder left midfielder. That's going to be pass first kind of, if that makes sense, rather than just dribble, dribble. Carrasco, so this guy is can play all across the left side of the pitch, left back, left mid, left wing, okay, he's got unwavering form, brilliant player skills, and even though he's expensive at 120, I do think that if you are looking for a left midfielder and a dedicated left midfielder, they're very rare lets to get a left midfielder, yes, we know that you can play left wingers or right wingers, such as, you know, the likes of um, Vinicius Jr. or any of those guys can play here, but this is a good card as well if you're looking for a decent player to dribble and pass with. Next up, we've got Oyarzabal. So this guy is the most expensive option on it. As I said in this video series before, we're sticking to players in their register position. So like Oyarzabal here, similar to the attacking midfielders, he should be down as an attacking midfielder, like Messi, who's down as an SS, or Neymar, who's down as a winger. I would definitely play those guys with really tight balance, dribbling, and not massively rapid speed. I wouldn't play them out wide. I'd play them through the center, especially with the skills that he has, one touch pass, through passing, all of those. So that is just keep in mind when you are looking at players like this. But I still think he's a good option to have if you want to cut in from the left side and still have all of those at your disposal. All of those, you know, traits at your disposal from a left sided player. But he's very pricey. That's why he's down the list a bit. So we've also got Zalewski. This guy is a beast, 29,000 GP. Excellent player skills. He's young. You can build your team around him if you are starting off. He's pretty, pretty decent, lads. 29,000, as I said, as a left midfielder. He can play attacking midfielder, which is probably his best position. He is, he is when you look at his card, he is an attacking midfielder. But we've boosted up his form here, um, or boosted up his acceleration here to get that balance up and also to get his ball control and dribbling up. Now, he's down as a box-to-box -box for a playing style, which is quite interesting, um, for a left-sided midfielder. So you are going to be naturally a bit more defensive than the, the wingers if you want to play a winger left midfield, um, which, yeah, sometimes I encourage that. I would always play, you know, one attacking option and one defensive option on both sides of the pitch, right? We'll get into a video on that later on. Next up, we've got Kostic. This guy is 82,000 GP. He goes about 26 levels. We'll see him maxed out in a minute. Now, the biggest decision you need to make, if you've stayed watching this video, I'm going to give you my golden nugget tip the biggest thing you need to make the biggest decision you need to make when you are using a wide player is whether you want speed and dribbling or you want passing and stamina that's essentially what you want from both of your players right so with Kostic he's down as a cross specialist he's got brilliant lofted pass he's got brilliant player skills for passing so we're not going to go too heavy on the rest of his stats and his skills. It's literally just going to be that this guy is like our Beckham-esque kind of out wide option to be able to swing the ball in to a target man or to be able to switch the play from wing to wing. Um, and then on our other wing, we can actually have, you know, our prolific winger or we can have somebody that can dribble and touch and go. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. And then last but not least, we have the cover star, Matoma. I think one of my favorite players to watch. I had him as a hidden gem back in eFootball 2022. He was an absolute beast of a player back then when he was only about, what, 8,000 GP. He's obviously gone up in price since then, but he just has it all. So even his standard card is insane. Yes, the balance is a little bit low with the tight possession. There is a new card out in the market at the moment for the player of the week that's down as a whole player. This guy is down as a prolific winger. I do feel that this card is... The standard card is insane. The Japanese card was really, really good as well. I have that one. I've played tons of hours with Matoma, and I definitely feel that he is one of the best attacking options. He just moves differently. You'll hear me saying that a lot. If you are a newcomer, it just means that he plays above his stats. So while the stats are brilliant and his player skills are brilliant, 
his price point, his stats, and everything else that go with it, his player ID and how he handles is just extraordinary. He's having a brilliant season as well, so he will be on better form this week when you watch this video. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Up next, we will finish off this series with the rest of the positions. Let me know if you're enjoying this and uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you like this content and any feedback that you have, send my way because we're always looking to improve. So don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon. Peace.